Hi there, everyone. Welcome back to Prehistoric Park. This is your Daily Dose Weekend Edition from the Calgary Zoo. My name is Jen and I'm a proud part of the education team here. Today we're going to talk about what is a dinosaur. Right behind me, you can see my bud here. This is Iguanodon, one of the first ever dinosaurs discovered and named. Found in 1825. They made a bit of a mistake where they found his thumb spikes and they thought they were for his nose, but people were still learning back then. By the time Iguanodon was found, another dinosaur had been found and then one other was found a couple years later. So three dinosaurs were known. At this point, scientists didn't know what to do with them. They didn't know what they were. They didn't know what these huge reptiles were. They thought they were just giant iguanas or giant crocodiles. And then a gentleman named Richard Owen came along. He was a foremost naturalist and paleontologist, but he came along and studied these three species and decided they were a brand new type of animal. And he coined the term Dinosauria, which means terrible lizard or terrible reptile, based on these three species that had been found. This was 1842. And what he thought was similar between the three species was something I'd like to show you here. Now, this is the pelvis or hip structure of a gorilla. I don't have a dinosaur pelvis, so I thought I'd show you this. But basically the main thing that Owen saw similar between these three species was that this part here, this acetabulum, which is where your femur inserts into your hip. So you have the big leg bone, this inserts into your hip here. In dinosaurs and in these three species he had found, that, that acetabulum is perforated. So it's got kind of a hole in it. And all dinosaurs have this or have a modified version of this. What this allows dinosaurs to do is stand more upright than other reptiles. So if you've ever seen a Komodo dragon walk, they're the largest lizard alive today, they walk with more of a sprawl. Dinosaurs can walk upright, and this allowed them to be super successful. There are about a thousand different species of dinosaur known, plus 10,000 species of birds. And that's the key to remember here is that birds are dinosaurs. So if we look at the diversity of dinosaurs, We've got things as small as a bee hummingbird alive today. Um, if we look at non-avian dinosaurs, so dinosaurs that are not birds, the smallest non-avian dinosaur weighed about the same as a hockey puck, and the largest non-avian dinosaur weighed about the same as the space shuttle Endeavour. <laughs> so there is a lot of diversity. So let's go take a look at some of the animals that people often think are dinosaurs. There are many animals that people sometimes confuse for dinosaurs. Often we think that anything that was big or that was a reptile that lived in the Mesozoic was a dinosaur, but that's not true. Behind me you'll see a long-necked plesiosaur, not a dinosaur. This is a marine reptile, so lived at the same time, but not a dinosaur. In my hands here I've got toys that you'll often see. If you buy a pack of, of dinosaur toys, often you'll see a pterosaur in there, or you'll see a dimetrodon in there. These, my friends, are not dinosaurs. Pterosaurs are flying reptiles. They lived at the same time as dinosaurs. Not a dinosaur. Dimetrodon lived about 40 million years before the first dinosaurs came around. Not a dinosaur. And you can see that sprawling, sprawling gait. You can see his legs are kind of sprawled out there. So he doesn't have that erect stance that dinosaurs have not a dinosaur. So if you can remember anything from today's weekend edition of, of this Daily Dose, please remember that pterosaurs are not dinosaurs. That's the key. So we're going to do a little bit of a quiz. So I'm going to take you through and visit some of our friends here at the zoo. And I want you to think about, is it a dinosaur or is it not a dinosaur? What you see behind me is a tylosaur, a type of mosasaur. Now, usually it's a natural habitat has a lot more water than this, but what do you think? Dinosaur or not a dinosaur? If you guessed not a dinosaur, you are correct. So a mosasaur is a marine reptile. They lived at the same time as dinosaurs. They are reptiles like dinosaurs, but they don't have the same adaptations as dinosaurs. So they're not dinosaurs. A lot of people get confused about this. All right, how about this one? This triceratops. Dinosaur or not a dinosaur? What do you think? If you guessed that this is a dinosaur, you are correct. This is perhaps one of the most famous dinosaurs, along with its, shall we say, nemesis Tyrannosaurus rex. So definitely a dinosaur.
What about this one? Pteranodon. Dinosaur or not a dinosaur? If you guessed not a dinosaur, you are correct. Flying reptiles like pterodactyls and pteranodon are not dinosaurs. They lived at the same time, they ruled the skies during the uh, Cretaceous for sure, but they were not dinosaurs. They were reptiles, just like dinosaurs are, but it's kind of like saying whales and apes are the same thing. They are both mammals, but they're not the same, not the same kind of animal. So pterosaurs are not dinosaurs. All right, how about this one? This cougar, dinosaur or not a dinosaur? What do you think? All right, that maybe was a bit of a softball one. Cougars are mammals. They're not dinosaurs. I just wanted to share that because cougars are my favorite animals. Now mammals lived at the same time as dinosaurs, but they were way smaller then. Okay, what about this beauty, humble penguin behind me? What do you think? Dinosaur or not a dinosaur? If you guess that it is a dinosaur, you are correct. All birds are dinosaurs. Mind blowing, isn't it? Behind me is a big, beautiful Apatosaurus. What do you think? Dinosaur or not a dinosaur? If you guess dinosaur, you are correct, my friend. This is most definitely a dinosaur. Thank you so much for playing. I hope you enjoyed this weekly edition of the Daily Dose. And thank you so much for supporting wildlife conservation. Take care.